barefoot shoes. Otherwise, you end up with nasty blisters like this. Or well, maybe just don't go hiking. No, that's not an option. Hey friends, it is a beautiful spring day. This is the first update video since coming back from my like two and a half month long break. Behind me, you can hear, is the wonderful world of chickens. And with me over here are the youngest members of our flock. I want to introduce really quick. They're only three weeks old, so they don't live out here. They still live in my garage, but I brought them out for a little bit of supervised sunshine today. This little friend here, his name is Hambone, and this one is Nugget. You can tell these were not my name choices. This was Jordan's doing. I give my chickens nice little names like Linda and Betty. Actually, I take that back. Uh, like most of the flock is just named Bok Bok because I don't bother to name everybody. But that's not why you're here. You don't care about, you know, chickens and all that. You're here for hiking. So the very first thing on the update list is the Outer Banks series. So over the break in January, we got a chance to spend a week in North Carolina's Outer Banks. So there's going to be a three part vlog series. So three of the most uh, memorable, I guess, sites we saw on that trip in their own separate video with uh, blog posts with information on like if you want to visit it, the things you need to know before you go, and a little bit about our experience that's not really included in the short three to four minute long video. And then at the end of that three part series will be a much longer like 15 to 20 minute long vlog of our whole trip uh, with bonus footage that wasn't included in the other three. All the dates uh, for those will be listed probably on the screen in the description. If you are subscribed to my newsletter list, I've got all of those dates provided for you there. You pretty much know all of the news that I'm going to share here today if you're subscribed to the newsletter. And so there's also a link for how you can subscribe to that in the description as well as the link on my website where you can go back and read old newsletters. Which brings us to item number two on the list. The newsletter is no longer going to be monthly. Instead, it will be quarterly. And I kind of explained in the newsletter itself a little bit about that. I want to make sure that I'm putting forward the best newsletter I can. And I just can't do that if I am writing them every single month. So writing them quarterly is gonna help me to just provide better content in general. And so one of the promises I've always made is if you subscribe to my newsletter, you will only get one piece of mail in your inbox from me a month. Well, now you're only gonna get one piece of mail from me, that newsletter, every three months. So next newsletter will be coming out the beginning of summer, and it will kind of encompass what all is coming to the channel and the blog for that, you know, three month period. Item number three, don't worry, there's only like six items. So we're halfway done. Um, is an upcoming trip video. Believe it or not, I didn't do like any backpacking at all over my break. Uh, and so the very first trip of the year, I got to spend with Jordan and the dogs in Uari National Forest. We did the 20 mile loop made by the Uari Trail and Dutchman's Creek Trail. So we spent a weekend tackling that and uh, I've got Jordan on board to do the rest of the 40 miles of the Uari Trail. We only did about 10 miles of it in this weekend. And so over the course of the year, uh, we're gonna just tackle it a couple miles here, a couple miles there with the dogs. It will be a slow process, but something for us to go do together. So with this will be the trip video and on the blog, a brief, trail journal, trip report, just a day-by-day -day breakdown of what happened. And then, of course, the itinerary. If you want to support the channel, that's one of the ways you can. Reasonable price, I share all of my knowledge with you from the trips that I've gone on. And I finished the Palmetto Trail one. It has taken me a minute, but the 20 or 25 mile loop with the Foothills and Palmetto Trail been a long time working on, but I finally finished that one. If you've been waiting for it, it is up and posted on the support page. Number four, I have been working on this really exciting project over my break. 
and I'm gonna do a separate video explaining all of the details, like the motivation behind it and kind of what's included, just all of the very, very important details. But in a nutshell, I'm gonna be launching on March 20th a online, I guess, publication or periodical. It's gonna be just like this quarterly thing geared towards backpacking and hiking. And so more information in a separate video about that, but I've been working really hard on it and I'm so excited to share this very first issue of it with all of you and I hope that you like it too. But similar to the newsletter, it's gonna be quarterly and so there's a spring issue, a summer issue, all of that. And while it's going to be new content every time, you also are going to know what you're getting and know what to expect from it. And this first issue is going to be free to read and check out just to kind of get an idea of what to expect going forward and then the option to subscribe to future issues of it. Moving right along, next item on the list. Like I mentioned, I didn't do any backpacking over my break. I just hate the cold so much. I think the exact term is being a big fat baby when it comes to cold. It really just sucks the fun out of it for me. I can't muster up the positivity needed to enjoy the trip. So I just kind of steer clear of it until it warms up. So instead of, you know, doing all of these winter backpacking trips, I ended up watching a lot of movies specifically spaghetti westerns. Jordan and I drew up like this huge list of the best ones and like watch them every single night. What the heck am I rambling about this for? What does this have to do with my channel, uh, with backpacking? Well, I would kind of like to put my uh, editing and filmography, whatever you call it, to the test by doing like a spaghetti western homage, I guess, in an upcoming video. Because I've been watching these really just talented directors and their specific style and the way they kind of like shaped the genre and I really appreciate it. So uh, just bear with me here while I get this out of my system. I'm just gonna have fun with it and I kind of don't care if people think it's dumb and nobody wants to watch it that's fine. Uh, it's just something that I would like to do because it would be a fun little thing to incorporate into a video in the near future. Last thing I want to share in this update video is over my break, I made some changes to my camera setup. So my old camera uh, was starting to have some problems and tinfoil time, I think it was like a planned obsolescence situation where uh, there were some updates that got run that all of a sudden, you know, made my video camera suck. All of a sudden footage is just desaturated, there's no color, and I was having trouble even previewing or playing the clips of video on my computer. Apart from my editing program, it was impossible to even view the videos, which is just ridiculous. But so I upgraded my camera. So that is all I have for you today. If you've watched this long, thank you so much. Uh, we recently hit 500 subscribers. There was actually a huge influx of subscribers over my break. And so now my channel has access to community posts, which is great. I'm really looking forward to communicating with y'all through that. So be on the lookout for those and polls and things like that. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind